Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome to my channel. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. If you like hauls, crafts, and DIYs, make sure to subscribe to my channel. When the little bell pops up, make sure you hit the bell. That way, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, let's jump on into the haul. When I went into my store, I was able to pick up the two that I did not find the last time I was in. And there are these really cute little boxes for fall. This one says pumpkin spice and everything nice season. Has little pumpkins on the side and then the sayings on the front and the back. I also picked up this one. Pumpkin patch, farm fresh, open daily, homemade pies, hay rides, and cider. And it also has the pumpkins on the side. These were the two that I didn't find the first time I was in the store, so I picked them up. I'm still picking up a few Halloween items. I went ahead and picked up a couple more of these solar lights, the little ghosts. I thought they're so cute. I picked up two more of those. I also picked up one of these very large skeletons. It's kind of hard to get them all in the picture there. But yeah, I picked them up. For my, either my front door or on the garage, I'm not sure, but he's definitely going to go up for Halloween. I picked up two more rolls of the black mesh. I just want to make sure I don't run out in the middle of a project. I also picked up some really pretty sparkly orange ribbon. I'm going to be using this in an up-and-coming craft. Since I was lucky enough to find the Halloween signs that have the really cute pumpkins, um, I went ahead and picked up this little guy that kind of matches the same pumpkins to go along with that sign. And I also picked this one up. I thought they were really cute. I think they'll look great next to the sign. The last item for Halloween that I picked up was just a bag of these googly eyes. They're all different colored eyes. They have blue, looks like pink, green, and yellow. Thought they'd be cute. I might need them in a project coming up here for Halloween. My store keeps getting in more and more Christmas. It's so nice to see every time I go in, there's always something new. This last visit, I found some more really adorable Christmas tree ornaments. I found this guy. Isn't he cute? He's on a little sled. He's made of all wood. It says Merry Christmas. So I got two of the Santa. They also make it in a snowman, and it says, let it snow. Very cute. I got two of these as well. I also picked up a couple of these. I thought they were really cute. Little Christmas tree. It, again, is on a piece of wood, has a little bell at the end. It's plain in the back, but the front is really pretty. In the same design, they have this one as well as a star. It's red. Now these are not only cute on your tree, but these, because they're so flat, are excellent for decorating packages for Christmas. That way they get a little extra bonus on the top because they get a Christmas tree ornament. I also found these adorable little reindeer ornaments. You get two. So I got two packages of those. Now last year they had these and I didn't pick them up, but I went ahead and grabbed a couple of these this year. They're the Elf Little Legs ornaments. So they have this one. They also have this one. Now I know last year they also had some little elf hats. I didn't see any little elf hats in yet, but I will definitely be keeping my eye open for those as well. All right, a couple more ornaments I found. I thought this was really cute, a little red Santa sleigh. Very cute, it's metal. I got this little guy, little top hat, has some greenery in the front. He's very cute. I'm going to be using this one in an in a up-and-coming craft. I also picked up another large, round, 
fish bowl and then a smaller fish bowl. And these I'm going to be using in, in an up and coming craft. And then I also found this ornament, which I thought was really cute. Little Santa, it looks like a tag. It's plain on the back. Just says holiday cheer. This is the only one that I saw of this kind, but I'm going to keep my eye open to see if they did any others. I thought it was really cute. You can do a lot of things with this, not only decorate a package, hang it on your tree, but you can DIY it. As the holidays approach in my crafts, I tend to like to light them up. <laughs> so whenever you want to like light up a wreath, uh, be aware that you do need two packages of the Dollar Tree lights if you want to light up a wreath, because one package only covers about half. They're also good for lighting up centerpieces and other decor. So I picked up some more lights. I got two packages of the LED lights. These shine blue. They're battery operated. So I got two packages of those. I'm planning on using these on a wreath. Now they had a lot of really cute different types of lights to choose from. I also picked this up. It's an LED. They're little bells, red and green, and they light up. I thought that was really cute. I did not see these last year. So I got two packages of those as well. I was really happy to see that they finally got in the little snowflake lights. I think these are really pretty. Again, they're battery operated. And I bought two packages of these as well. And the last holiday item that I purchased today are the pumpkin spice or spiced pumpkin candles by Old Williamsburg. This smells divine. It smells like pumpkin pie cooking in your oven. It fills the whole house with that lovely aroma. <laughs> so this is wonderful. Help make the house smell yummy all season long. So I picked up two of those. It was nice to see that Bolero has put out some new products. And they came out with a new scent, Vanilla Sugar and Raspberry. And I picked that up in the facial wipes, as well as the facial wash. And then the new item that I had not seen before is a facial mist, same fragrance. They also came out with coconut and rose milk. So again, I picked up another package of the facial wipes and the facial wash and the facial mist. I really like Valero products for the most part. There are a few that I don't care for, but for the most part, I really like it. I used the facial wipes and the facial cleanser I have for several months. I really like how it makes my skin feel. It doesn't leave any type of a residue and it doesn't over dry my skin. So for a dollar, these are really great products. Now this next item is a repurchase. It is the Clay Mask Duo. I really like these masks. Uh, if you watched my skincare review of Dollar Tree products, this was a yes love product from Dollar Tree. If you've never tried it, I suggest you do. It is made for uh, people who have a little bit more oily skin, so keep that in mind. But if you'd like to know more about how the Dollar Tree skincare products work, I will link that video to this one, okay? In the beauty section, I also picked up some more stuff that I need to keep me going. And that is some more nail tips. So I got some more of the French. And then I picked up two packages of this. I thought it was really cute with the little bow and the red tip. I thought this would be beautiful for Christmas. So I got two packages of those. And it works really well with the glue that they make, which is the Sassy Wing Sheet. So I picked up another one of those as well. I really like these products. They are just glue on tips, but they do last me five to seven days on average. I did find a couple decor pieces that were new to my store. So I picked up a couple. I thought they were really cute. The first one says, make your own magic. I thought that was really pretty. Little Mermaid. 
And then this one I love, definitely going to just go up and sit on the shelf because it's so cute. It says, Home Sweet Home. I really like this one. I did pick up a couple crafting supplies this trip. It was nice to see that they got their large package of their floral moss. So I picked up one of those. I'm sure I'm going to be using some of this for some Christmas DIYs. I also picked up another package of the glue sticks for my glue gun. The, the glue works rather well. I haven't really had too many problems. A few issues of it not sticking when something is kind of freshly painted, but I think that's due to the paint and not necessarily the glue. I also picked up four packages of the wood rulers. I used all of the ones that I had, so I needed to restock. And another item that I picked up that I had not seen before is this uh, drop cloth. I thought this would be great when I do uh, painting or anything that's really messy and I need to cover a large area, either the carpet or the table, to not get stuff everywhere. So I grabbed one of these. I figured I could cut it to size, and it would be a great help to keep everything clean. I also did go ahead and pick up some more florals. I was lucky enough to find more of this beautiful fern. It's just called fern, and it looks like it's flocked with snow, and it has a little bit of glitter on it. So I picked up four more of these. In my fall crafts, I used up all of my little mini mums, and I really like the flowers. So I went ahead and restocked. I got several different colors. Whatever they had, I restocked, because I really like working with this. And then I picked up some more of the gypso. This is really pretty, very white. They look like little beads. And I also picked up a couple of the baby spray. In the stationery section, I found this really pretty file holder. I really love the pattern. So I picked up two of those. I also picked up two rolls of the postal wrapping paper. It's just a plain wrapping paper. I figured I will use this to help protect my desk when I'm doing messy crafts or painting. Over in the poster section, where they have all the wall stickers, I found this one. I thought it was really cute. If you have any little kids, this would be great. It is farm animal based. I thought it was absolutely adorable. It's two-sided. Now they have the same type of motif, but with city. So it had officer and a fire truck and a hospital. All those types of things. I thought these were really cute. These are great. I've used them on my walls before. They come off really easy and leave absolutely no damage. So when you have kids and they like to change their room all the time and they go from loving Power Rangers one day to loving something else in another week, super easy. You can give them what they want. They can put it wherever they want on their walls and when they're ready to take them down, they just easily peel off and leave no damage. These are great. I found this really pretty 8x10 frame that I'm planning on using on a DIY. It's a silver frame and it has a white mat inside and it's an 8x10. Now I normally don't buy a lot of food products at the Dollar Tree, but I have to say I have been expanding and trying new things. I found something that I absolutely love and I couldn't believe I found it at the Dollar Tree. There are these Entenmann's Hot Cocoa Little K-Cups. Absolutely delicious. You get three of them in a package, and they work perfectly in your 2.0 Keurig. This is the second time I've bought these. They're very good. I highly recommend them. A new item that I found down the snack aisle, which intrigued me and I had to purchase and try, are these Munch Rites. Now they had two kinds. This is the apple cinnamon. Now they are baked puffs. So they're supposed to be healthier for you. They have three grams of sugar, 140 calories, and five grams of fat per serving. Not bad. And they also had this flavor, which is cheddar. 
This again is 140 calories, six grams of fat, and only two grams of sugar. So I'm really excited to try these. I'm always looking for snacks that are a little bit healthier for you. So this just might fit that bill. This next product, Snyder's Pretzels. I've purchased Snyder's in the past from the Dollar Tree. I usually get their mini no salt pretzels. I love them. I try to control the amount of salt that I eat and they work really good. I love to dip them in mustard. It's one of my favorite snacks. But I thought I'd try these. They looked really good. They're butter snaps. These do have salt, so I'll have to control how much I eat. But I really like Snyder's pretzels. I think they're very good. So it was a nice find at the Dollar Tree. Every time I go into the Dollar Tree, one of the spots that I always hit to check to see if they have anything good is the book section. Now, when I first started shopping at the Dollar Tree, I never paid much attention to the book section. And then one day, I noticed they got a bunch of books, so I started to look. Since then, it is one of the areas I check every time I go in. And sure enough, this last time when I went, I found some really nice books. The first one is Cake Craft Made Easy. It is a step-by-step -step book that teaches you all about cake decorating. It has lots of different things in it. Step-by-step -step instructions. Really nice book. Now, I love to bake. I love to make cookies and pies. Cakes are not one of those things that I've ever made a lot of, and I really have never done more than just a basic <laughs> frosting on top of a cake. So I was kind of excited to see this, and I hope that it will teach me to expand my knowledge and to get a little bit better at cake decorating. One of the books that I found is this really nice vegetarian sandwich cookbook. I love cookbooks. I have a very large collection. I have them covering all different things. When I saw this, I just had to pick it up. The pictures in it look really good. It makes everything look really yummy. And I'm always up for trying new things and wanting to eat healthier. Good book. I also found this one. It's called Can It, Bottle It, Smoke It, and Other Kitchen Products. I thought this would be great uh, to give as gifts when you make different types of salsas or rubs or anything like that. They're, they always make really good gifts. The book is really nice. Has nice pictures. Let's see, this one. And this one retailed for $24.99. And the last book that I found, Brittles, Barks, and Bourbons. Again, I think this would make great Christmas gifts, some of these recipes. Who doesn't like getting homemade bark for Christmas? All different kinds of recipes. Again, really nice glossy pictures. Very surprised to find these types of books at the Dollar Tree. And this one retailed for $16.95. Big haul. I hope you fully enjoyed that. I hope you found something that you like and that you just can't live without. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day and we'll see you next time.